So New has been a smartphone brand that's been a hidden gem in the smartphone arena. Well, in 2021, the company pulled back the curtain on its all new series of smartphones, which is the B series of smartphones. I believe it's gonna be the B10 and the B15, which this is the B15. So I reviewed this device uh, in the video. Check it out, I will leave that link down in the description below. Now this is a great device for a great price for under $200 that have great performance, a 90 hertz display to match. Well, the company is not stopping there. I'm using, and I've been using the latest device for 2022. This is the B25G that have some great updates versus the older device. Let me give you my thoughts about it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I've been using the B20 5G for a few days now. So this is not a complete review. This is only my first impressions about this device of me using it for a few days so far. But let me give you my unboxing experience if you decide to pick this device up. So check this out. Oh yeah, B20 by New Mobile. B25G. All right, let's see what it's all about. Okay. The phone itself. SIM 2 key. Look like we got the uh, USB C. Okay, all this comes out. USB C cable. Power brick in the box. Hey, look what you get here. You get a glass screen protector. Nice. You get your books and you get new stickers here. So as we look at this device, let's go over the tech specs. The new B20 5G has a huge 6.5 inch IPS 1080p 90 hertz display. It has the new Dimensity 700 series processor, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, dual SIM or SIM or SD card support. Now, as far as cameras, they got three of them on the back. 48 megapixel camera, 16 megapixel camera, and a two megapixel camera on the rear. Now in the front, you got an eight megapixel camera. Now as far as video, the B20 can shoot up to 1440p at 30 frames per second on the rear, and 1080p 30 frames per second on the front. Now powering this device, you have a massive 5,000 milliamp battery. And that's what I'm talking about. Now this device got a lot of extras. You got NFC, fingerprint scanner, face unlock, a headphone jack, and uh, you got 5G support. And lastly, this device is running Android 12 with October security patches as of me recording this video. So you see the trend here, right? You see the trend, you get a lot for less. You see these companies give you everything in the kitchen sink for less the price. I will leave all product information down in the description below. But let's go over the device. On the right side, you got your volume up and down. Next, you have your power button that doves as a fingerprint scanner. On the left side, you got it's clean with your SIM tray. Now on the top, you have one of the microphones. Uh, and then at the bottom here, you have a headphone jack. The, the second microphone, you got USB-C power port, and lastly, you have a single firing speaker here. So when you look on the back, New decided to go with a more plastic bill as they did with their previous device, right? It has a little flex to it, and it's kind of slippery, but the overall build quality is nice. And as you can see, the build quality here is nice. Sir, may I quote General Order 12? On the approach of any vessel when communications have not been established. Lieutenant, the admiral is well aware of the regulations. 
Now looking at the display, New did a great job overall, give you a very good screen to body ratio here. So you have very slim bezels, except right here at the bottom. But overall, you got slim bezels. The display itself is nice and vivid. Look, I have to spend a little more time with it to give you more of my thoughts and details about this display on this device. So stay tuned for that. So let's talk about performance. With the new Dimensity 700 series processor, you're getting great performance out of these devices. Surprisingly great with the Dimensity 700 processor. So this is the overall great performer. Playing games, going through the OS is a very good smooth experience. Especially with the 90 Hertz refresh rate, it brings in an added value. Now this device have a clean build of Android 12 with material you design on top of it, which is really good. But it's only been a few days, so I got to spend a little more time. So wait for my full review with this device so I can give you more information. So let's talk about these cameras. You got three cameras on the back and one camera in the front. Now you see, you hear a lot of megapixels here and there, but let me show you some camera samples and let you be the judge for yourself. So check this out. Right, guys so here it is this is the new b20 5g this is the rear camera i'm shooting this at uh 1440p at 30 frames per second i want y'all guys to see the image quality nice beautiful blue sky uh and uh go from there now it doesn't have optical image stabilization so just be aware of that probably have some kind of uh electronic stabilization but uh, yeah, here's the image quality of the B20 5G. All right, guys, so here is the front camera of the B20. Uh, we got the, <laughs> the ice cream man coming on there. Uh, here's the image quality, not bad at all. I'm shooting this at 1080p, 30 frames per second. The front camera, as you can see, is trying to keep make sure that the background is, uh, the dynamic range is really good. But uh, yeah, here it is, right? Looks good so far as me looking at the, the viewfinder, but you be the judge for yourself. How is the audio and how is the video of the new B25G? So here it is, my first impressions of the new B25G uh, for 2022. Look, my overall impressions is that I'm seeing these companies taking the gloves off and showing people that you could get a great phone with all the bells and whistles, even with screen protectors and power bricks and, and, and everything else in between in the box for about 70% cheaper of these so-called flagships. No worries about battery life also. 5,000 milliamp battery here. Uh, my testing so far, having this device, it, it's, it's packing a good punch when it comes down to battery life. But stay tuned for my full review uh, with this device. My first impression so far has been solid with the new B25G. And you know what? The 5G speeds on here is pretty nice on T-Mobile. So. There it is. If you want to see the B15 review that I did here on this YouTube channel, click this video right here. Click this video right here and I'm gonna be in the comments. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.